my junior year, man, Coach Seven flew in on the helicopter uh, and came and got me out of Spanish class. And, you know, at the time, that's all I was seeing on, on, on TV was Alabama. Um, previous year, they had lost to Florida, and the next year they won in Natty um, against Texas. So as soon as he came and got me out of Spanish class and, you know, you know gave me those words of affirmation of, hey, you know, I, I love your, your talent, man. I think you can be an a even better player if you come play for me. Um, I won't promise you shit. All right, but if you if you can follow the rules and bind to the process that we have created here at the University of Alabama, uh, I can assure you we'll leave with a degree and um, have a chance to play in the NFL if you follow the rules that I have, you know, set in stone in place. And uh, I hadn't had a head coach tell me that. You know, I always had a coach tell me what they could do for me and what they would give me, and uh, wasn't no integrity behind it. So when Sammy came and got me out of Spanish class, that's all he had to do, and I committed. I was committed already then, and uh, didn't waver from it. So. I committed as a junior man and uh, stayed locked in with Saban from then on up. You know, um, he would call me every week just to make sure I was okay. Anything I wanted to talk about or just come up there and see him and stuff like that. Like he was really uh, piled in to make sure I stayed committed to Alabama and, and make sure I didn't waver my commit uh, because I had committed so early and I was a five star. He didn't, you know, he hadn't seen that in, in a while or really at all to see a five star commit that early and stay committed. So uh, my loyalty to Saban was was second to none.